So they are more so, responsible negatively and positively. You get the point? So negatively, they cost a lot of damage. So they, yeah. contri they, they are responsible in that sense. They are responsible negatively. They cost a lot of damage. And then they are, they are now responsible positively, which means they, uh, they need to do more. More responsibility? Yeah, like they have um, more responsibility to do something to fix the damage that they have done. Hello. Hey, there you are. Good afternoon. Hi. <laughs> uh, did you just wake up? No, but no. I forgot it. Oh, you you forgot you forgot the class. Yes. <laughs> I say I think it's because you only have a few classes this month. So I mean, it's not uh, um, regular. I mean, you know, yes. uh, you you could have a better chance of remembering the class if uh, it was more like a regular class or like you know something that happens um, at a regular time. So anyway, uh, good afternoon. Um, good to see you again. It's um, of course it's been a while, so I'm glad to to have you back here and to have another okay. class with you, Michelle. Right. So so how are you? How how are things going on? Um, actually, I think it's not because of the class is not regular. Maybe it's because I I didn't go to school, so mm. like. My routine is like more free, so so I just didn't oh go. I see. So because it's your summer vacation, and <clears throat> you know you um. No, I need to go to class. Uh, go to school because of the the classes for reviewing the ah. other missions. Mm -hmm. But 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 then last week I I. I was I I caught COVID nineteen, so then I'm still in quarantine oh, now. Oh, I see. Oh, really? I'm sorry to hear about that. Last week. Yes. So, so you you need to um quarantine uh yourself um until when? Today. Until today. today. Yes. Like okay. tomorrow, I can go out. I see. So because of uh, the COVID-19, or, or because you caught the COVID-19, you've been uh, like, you've been keeping yourself isolated at home, and you've not been, of course, able to go to uh, your school or to attend uh, your summer classes. Yes. Okay. So because of that, um, like, you've been sort of like having a break from almost everything that you do regularly yes right so that's why you forgot uh, the class <laughs> all right so how, how are you now i mean uh, so you caught the covid 19 or you tested positive uh did did you um have uh, some severe symptoms or what symptoms did you did you get like dry my throat Mm -hmm. At first, like in the beginning, mm -hmm. it's like dry and really hurt, mm -hmm. and I hardly, I hardly, like I I can talk like hardly. Then mm -hmm. I don't really can. my my voice mm -hmm. cannot come out like regularly. Normally, it's, yes, cannot come out normally. Mm. All right, so so you had. Uh, like a what, like a a hoarse voice. Yes, yes. Yeah, so you had a hoarse voice, uh, H O A R S E. Uh, so you had a hoarse voice and also some kind of you know difficulty um speaking. Uh, maybe uh because of what, like uh, was it because of phlegm? What is phlegm? Phlegm is, you know, that uh, sticky mucus or sticky substance uh, in your throat when you have cough and like it's blocking uh, the air and, uh, you know, and, and it sort of uh, triggers you you to, uh, to cough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. my throat hurts a lot and then I can, my voice become, mm -hmm. become hard. Horse, I have a, I have a horse okay. horse, and I can actually, yes, 
So you, when when you, you when you had this uh, symptom, uh, was that uh, when you suspected that uh, you caught COVID nineteen, and so you went and uh, and and get a, a test? No, not really. At first, it's not so serious. Like at mm -hmm. first, it's just like my throat hurts a little bit. Like mm -hmm. it hurts, but it's not so serious. So then I thought maybe, maybe it might be. So then I test, but it's mm. it's negative. Like then, then I go to see a doctor, and then mm. I thought it's just a a cold, like kind of like mm. that. And and then and the other day I test again. Uh, and then the same day I test again mm -hmm. before I sleep, but it's still negative. And then the next day. In the morning, I test again, and it's still negative. But then the next day, I test it, and it's positive. So, so I test like three or four times. Four, four times. It, wow. It turns, it turns positive. Uh -huh. But by that day, actually, I'm ready to go to school. But I'm just like, mm. um, a little bit worried about it. I just like mm. last check. Because I already test for three times, so I think it's probably all right. And then, but I will just do a last check for mm. the, for, yeah. So so then I do it and then I did it and then it become positive. That was oh, a man. little mm -hmm. check. Mm -hmm. So why did you keep on, you know, getting the COVID nineteen test? Uh, was it because you were really suspicious that? Uh, you caught uh, the virus because of the symptoms because you, you took it like four times and on the fourth oh. time that's when you tested positive because my throat is like didn't become bad like didn't mm -hmm. recover like i eat the medicine the doctor gives me but it didn't mm -hmm. become like okay it did not get better and, even after and, taking and, some medicines yes yeah, and mm -hmm. it, it all it even get like maybe worse, and then my oh, friends, no. my classmates, like we have a uh, our club, like mm -hmm. have a meal together last Friday, and then a lot of people. But then my friends, two got a uh, three or two got infected, mm -hmm. and then they told, they they tested that at the first day I test when I test is negative. They told us that. They were positive, and then oh, they were. Oh, I see. Like, All right. I still have, so mm -hmm. so I will check more time. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So you were exposed, or like uh, you had direct mm -hmm. um, exposure to people who tested positive, and so you tried to keep an eye on your symptoms, and if you you know uh, caught the virus, that's why you had to keep taking the tests. Okay, yes. I see. Um, so, um, how has it been? I mean, you, you, you're quarantined, uh, so you've been kept just in your room at home? Yes, and um, mm -hmm. bathroom. Like, I just stay in my room and, and in my house oh. bathroom, like two places, two okay. spots. Uh -huh. yes. Wow, so how, how have you been, uh, you know, um, keeping yourself sane you know <laughs> not to uh, uh lose your mind in this uh, situation because i i know it's not a pleasant experience to uh to quarantine uh, yourself in just a room and you have to stay in the same room for like a week or so and uh, it could mm -hmm. you know um make you uh, like stressed or even depressed mm. actually i think I didn't feel like really depressed about mm. like being alone, like because I think the bad part of quarantine, like the bad part of quarantine, is I need to ask for a lot of help. Like I mm. need to tell, ask my sister to help me, mm. uh, give me something or whatever. Like I need to ask for a lot of help, and I mm. don't really like to do this. Like. Mm, yes. Okay. So, you don't like being yeah. somewhat um, totally dependent uh, to somebody, or like not being able to do things on your own. 
like you just can stay in your、mm. own room, but you want to take something, or you, or yeah, because I need to have my meal in my room, so、mm. they need to give me meals like put in front of my door or、mm. blah, blah blah. So a lot of things that that my sister need to help me to do it, or my dad or my mom,、mm. like the, so so I need to ask for a lot of help and. I don't really like to ask,、mm-hmm. so so I need to try to like, hey Michelle, just ask. <laughs> <laughs> right, like there the, there is no any other option than to you、yeah. know ask for、uh, help from、mm-hmm. your from the members of your family.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So at first,、mm-hmm. because of a lot of like your your behavior need to like a lot of limits, so、mm-hmm. feel. You will feel like kind of like annoyed. Like you need to、um, pay attention on a lot of things. Like when I go out, I need to take my I need to take my mask. When I use the bathroom, take shower, I have a、mm. lot of more steps need to do. But when、mm. I used to it, when I am used to this kind of limit, I didn't think like depressed because actually I think I am. Enjoy the time that I can stay、mm. on my own. Ah,、For、really? Sure. Without without、uh, having your parents checking on、mm. you, you know, every now and、yeah. then. So like. Because、mm. every time they will just like open your door and check how you are doing, but、right. now they you know, <laughs> they can't open the they can't even open the door. Yeah. Yes.、Yeah, so, <laughs> like you, know, you can stay, you can stay, like do what whatever you want.、Mm. Not not whatever I want, but I can like enjoy my self time. Your like, privacy. My privacy. Right. Your privacy. Yeah. I want to、mm-hmm. enjoy my privacy. I need to do a lot of like、uh, when my parents are not at home or、mm. when they are busy and they won't like. Yes. So so but now I can just do things I want. But now no. But because、mm. yesterday last night I test is negative. So. I turn to negative, and then my 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 parents start to come into my room today. <laughs> okay, I see, I see. Well, it's good that、uh, you uh, somewhat enjoyed、uh, your quarantine, and、uh, you did not、uh, find it、uh, that or as stressful as you know、um, how other people find it. So that's good for you. I think at first is. Like stressful because、mm. you didn't feel really good,、mm. and you are worried about your health.、Mm. So my health. So so I was at first stress and feel annoyed, but、mm. after few days, I didn't feel that bad.、Mm. So what is the um um the required days of quarantine uh in Taiwan because. When you know when when the pandemic started,、um, the quarantine period was、uh, was required to be like at least fourteen days or two weeks. But I heard that in some countries they lessened the number of days for the quarantine. So in、mm. some countries they can only、uh, I mean they they only need to quarantine for like five days, even just three days, in some、oh, cases.、Really? Uh, but what about there in Taiwan? I am, uh, seven days. Seven、I、days,、think. okay. I didn't know if the,、uh, I don't know, maybe I need to check. I I can go to school tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. Great. So, what about your uh classmates who also tested positive for COVID nineteen? Have they recovered uh as well already? I think so. I I think I'm the last one that test positive. Ah, okay. Like, so, so, like、mm-hmm. because we have like school nurse, and then they will like check your when you got you you were infected. You need、mm-hmm. to call the school, and the school's nurse will like connect you and tell you something that you need、mm-hmm. to, uh, your tell something that you need to notice about,、mm-hmm. and then because. It's our club, and it's already like five people infected, and and then and when I call when the nurse called me, and I say I had a meal with my club, and then、mm-hmm. the nurse said, "Um, are you blah 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 club again?" <laughs> and I said, "Yes." And then said, "Oh, you 
already five people, five people, and then it's、uh, kind of yes. So so I think our club and we are in different classes.、Mm. So maybe five people in our club infected, and then five class has stopped their class for like、mm. two or three days.、Mm. Yes. Oh wow! Wow. All right. Well, the good thing is、uh, you have already、uh, recovered, so you have、uh, already tested negative, and、um, I suppose you are already back on your feet. Like you know, you, you look very active and energetic now. So, you,、uh, like, very there's no signs of any disease anymore. So that's that's good. And then you can go back to school、uh, from tomorrow. And by the way,、uh, Michelle, please excuse me、uh, when when I when I speak、um, like awkwardly.、Uh, if you notice that my mouth is somewhat,、uh, can, can you notice that I'm speaking awkwardly?、Uh, that's awkward. Awkward,、oh, you, you know, like、uh, unnatural.、Um, uh, I have a, a canker sore. Do you have a? I mean, do you know what a canker sore is? No. Oh, canker. Uh, canker sore. You know that、uh, small sore inside your mouth,、uh, normally at the back of your lips.、Uh, so I have one、oh. uh, canker sore、um, at the back of my lower lip, and that's why, if you notice, my lower lip is somewhat swollen.、Uh, mm. It has improved already. It was very swollen yesterday.、Uh, in fact,、uh, my wife、uh, joked、uh, at me and said. Uh, you've got very kissable lips because you know <laughs> it was <laughs> it was、uh, swollen and、uh, it was you know、uh, very shiny as well because you know that the the skin、oh, yeah. the skin stretched out and like you know it was smooth and <laughs>、uh, swollen.、Um, so it's it's still like a bit hard to to speak normally.、Uh, so and and I I have to like uh, always. Um, Like wet my 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 lip and especially the the part、uh, where the sore is. It's actually just、um, here. Let me try to show you. There it is. Ah,、oh, so, it's because、mm. you sleep too late. Like、um, a lot of、you're... people say that.、Uh, yeah, that's one of the like the the main、um, factors or like the main、uh, causes. Uh, so like when you don't get enough sleep and you are too tired or like exhausted and、uh, lack of some kind of vitamins,、um, uh, and、oh. I I think、um, I'm not sure, but、um, I actually get、um, this you know canker sore、uh, from time、uh, from time to time, like maybe every after. Two months, or like every other <laughs> month, maybe every other month, I get a canker sore.、Uh, so、oh. I don't. Or could it could be because、uh, I don't、uh, get enough sleep, because、uh, you know. But you know, with with the sleep, I am always somewhat、uh, sleep deprived,、um, because I always go to bed、um, like later than twelve midnight.、Uh, mm. So it's. I mean. Getting a little sleep is not new to me, so uh, I, uh. I doubt uh, that is uh, the the cause. But it could be, could be, you know, one of the the causes or the factors that contributed to it. But anyway, it's、um, yeah, it's it's getting better now, but、uh, yeah, it's it's still a bit、uh, painful and like it still、uh, gets in the way of my. Um, like my speaking. So, anyway, so、mm. just excuse me if I am speaking awkwardly. <laughs>、mm. Right. So, anyway,、uh, what topic would you like to、uh, talk about、um, for today? You can choose it. Okay.、Uh, maybe we should go to agree or disagree. Okay. Okay. So let me see. One second. Okay, where is that?、Um, agree or disagree? And okay, 
I think there are a lot of uh, interesting topics here. But maybe we can talk about something that is relevant. Uh, let's talk about climate change. Do you want to talk about climate change? Okay. Okay, so this one. Climate change. Oh, have we talked about this before? Um, eh? What do you think? Uh, can you remember if we talked about this before? I think... We haven't? Or maybe I'm we have. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, we can talk about it again. Uh, maybe we can still, you know, um, generate some new ideas if we have already talked about it. Um, I just looked at the first um, statement and so it sort of gave me, um, you know, um, an idea that I think I already talked about this, you know, statement with one of my students, but I, I can't just remember if it's uh, with you or with another student. Right, so let's, um, yeah, let's see. So let's get started. So the first statement is that uh, climate change is not uh, caused by human activity. Um, disagree. You disagree? Okay. All right. But but I think actually climate change is is the thing that natural will happen, but it will it mm -hmm. happen naturally, like okay. Yeah, so so I think climate change is a thing when human is not there. Uh, when human before human, there are already a lot of climate change like we learn in mm. like we learn mm -hmm. i learn a lot of like yes and then but but i think human activity actually um make the climate change like not so natural like maybe that it may it happen like earlier or mm -hmm. or seriously or in a or a change in a like Worse. I don't know. Okay. Can, you mean uh, the, the, uh, you mean human activity um, makes uh, the change in the climate um, faster, like because of mm. human activity, uh, the the climate change is happening, uh, you know, uh, at a, at a, a rapid pace. Uh, yes, okay. and, um, mm. yes and, and it's not so and I think a lot of part is it's like not so natural anymore mm. like some change is like some change is nature like the nature will make it happen mm. by itself by itself and, and it almost is like a circle like uh it will A become change to B and then a B will change to A again some days. Like mm. every different period they have different kind of change. But this kind of change is it happened naturally. So but human activity make the change like out of their circle and then made it seriously and, mm -hmm. and faster. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you uh um, in simple words, um, human activity makes the climate change worse. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we, as humans, are worsening uh, the climate change or causing it to develop or happen uh, sooner than you know how it should develop naturally. So, what what do you mean by natural climate change? Mm. Let me find it. How to say? Um. I don't know, but but I but. Let me think. Let me see. Hmm. Ah, but climate change definition is like. It's a a word for our generation. It's not for like 
the definition of climate mm. change is is just for twenty century and to twenty one century the change mm. of the climate is this the right definition? I don't I don't think so. Although the climate change or the term climate change um, maybe um, has just been let's say coined has just been recognized as a word or as a phrase uh, in the like in the 20th and 21st century but uh, the meaning um, um, extends even um, extends I'm gonna put that like at all time so like in the past and even in the future so it simply means uh, uh, the changes in the climate uh, but again the term climate change itself maybe uh, this term was coined in the 20th century and it is it's it has uh, become a very popular uh, now in the 21st 21st century um, so did, did I answer your question so 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 here the question is climate change means the change of climate or it means mm. the situation we are facing in the time now like mm -hmm. a lot of pollution and uh -huh. change or it means the change of the climate yeah i i think the definition uh is simply the changes in the climate uh, you know oh, how okay. how the climate how uh the world's um weather um, mm. is, is changing or become normally we associate uh, climate change with uh, global warming you know the world yes. uh, becoming uh, warmer uh, so that is uh, climate change so that's, a, that's a definition but it's not mm. the, the the application of the word climate change is not, or the use of climate change is not only applicable uh, to describe our situation now, but it it could also be used to describe the situation in the past. Like, um, you know, we 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 have we have had the what we call what scientists call the ice age. You know, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Did you hear? Did you um, ever hear about that? The ice age, and then because of climate change so you know that age um you know ended and so so yeah so so, so we can still use uh, the phrase or the the term climate change to describe things that happened uh, in the past in the in the in the far history or past mm. Mm. so the question you ask is why what is the nature like the climate change naturally my, my yeah because because you mentioned earlier that you know climate change um is a natural i think you are somewhat suggesting that uh climate change is a natural phenomena yeah. it's something that or natural phenomenon it's something that happens naturally yes like mm. It's just like what I want to, I just want to say it's about like, for example, it's like Ice Age, like mm. the glacier, like they have a long period of time, like just for example, before, during the glacial, glacial maximum like when it's full of glacier and then taiwan mm. is also in like wait taiwan is an island but mm. in that period of time because of the glacier so like it can be connected with other other islands or other other countries yeah, island, other, mm -hmm. like china blah blah so that the animals can can move in this this big places but mm. but then later on it it turns to the interglacial period like mm. so then we are independent uh in be, we became independent so then our our the animal in our island become like a lot of like 
like like we are a small island so mm -hmm. this these various kinds of animals usually or plants usually won't be together but then because mm -hmm. of the 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 glass the glacier glacier or glacier glacier Gla but in the american Gla pronunciation it'd be glacier uh gla glacier but in the uh british pronunciation it, yeah it's glacier the glacier disappear so mm. then a lot of like special plants kind special kinds of plants like different a lot of different kinds of special plants stay in our island mm. so so this is an example of the climate mm. change because it's like the glaciers change is like normally like naturally they change by itself and mm. so that's why i say climate change can be naturally Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, that makes sense. So, I I can I I can uh, agree to that. Um, climate change um, is is not always about uh, human activities, although mm. um, as you have also pointed out earlier, uh, human activities. Uh, making the climate change worse, or it is, uh, or they are, our activities uh, make the development of climate change um, faster. Um, but I also, um, I think I have shared it with you that uh, I also heard an information that this climate change stuff is all but a hoax, you know, it's not real. Uh, it's real that uh, the world is getting warmer, uh, but it is not because of our activity. Uh, it's it, it has nothing to do with anything that we do. It has to do with uh, the activity of the sun. So the sun is becoming warmer. Uh, it's producing more heat waves or producing more heat. Uh, and so you know that's why it feels hotter um and so the sun also goes through a cycle of um i don't know what is it called but uh, the sun has its own cycle um and as it as it goes to its cycle uh, there are times when it's hotter and when it's uh, less um hot so of course it's not it, it doesn't it doesn't go cold but uh, you know the sun is always hot but there are times when it's um hotter and maybe hottest so we are going through that period when the sun is like um um hotter than it used to be um so the global warming according to this information i heard uh only has to do with uh the heat from the sun so we are, we are just receiving the heat we are not producing it um and then some um scientists or some people would argue that uh what about the uh the carbon dioxide you know we produce a lot of carbon dioxide and so because of that uh it's becoming warmer uh and then i i i heard that as the sun produces more heat and of course the, the world is becoming warmer the heat itself is causing the production of more carbon dioxide it's it's not us well we produce carbon dioxide but according to this information of this study the amount of carbon dioxide that humans produce is uh is is less than the carbon dioxide that is produced by the heat coming from the sun so mainly the sun is actually uh producing more carbon dioxide you know when the waters uh when the waters warm up uh, they produce um carbon dioxide uh accordingly so anyway uh, that's just you know another another information that uh, you might want to uh, look into i haven't had the, the time to look into it but it's an interesting stuff um it's it's another you know study um and I think uh, these uh, st studies about climate change are important 
because they determine uh, our government's um, actions. Uh, for instance, uh, some governments are banning the use of uh, petrol or, you know, uh, any fossil fuel. And that affects us um, individually, you know. So uh, this this whole climate change thing, maybe we, th we think that it's too big, that it's not affecting me. But actually, it is affecting us. It is affecting uh, the prices of goods, you know, when, when governments uh, stop importing fossil fuel or like they they lessen the importation exportation of fossil fuel like usually the prices of commodities uh should should go up and so you know we are affected mm -hmm. so anyway uh that's about uh the first one let's go to the next statement here there is nothing that underdeveloped countries can do to fight climate change so underdeveloped countries um so i think we categorize countries as um i'm not sure but maybe under so we have undeveloped underdeveloped developing and then developed so i'm not sure anyway but the philippines is categorized as a developing country so it's not mm -hmm. under so underdeveloped should be below developing um so developing countries i mean under underdeveloped countries uh can do nothing uh to fight uh, climate change that's agree i think i think i think this question is like um it's like Okay, no, no example. Uh, I think it's not, it's like two kind of things. Like maybe because of they want to de develop their country, so mm -hmm. they will make some like factories, machine, mm -hmm. or blah, blah, and will have more seeds, will generate, I don't know if the word generate is right, but generate more CO2, but but mm. I think still can do, although they, 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 I don't know, they, uh, they, they product a lot of back, ah, not negative. They, they produce. Yes, produce, mm. they, they produce mm. negative factors to to the earth mm. but then to the earth but then they still can do a lot of things to mm. to protect the earth so mm. i think it was it it i don't know let me find it mm. so so are you suggesting that since they can contribute to the development of climate change then they can do something uh to fight climate change i mean they can the fact that they can contribute to the climate change so as as you have uh, illustrated uh they they uh they they want to develop uh their country so that they would put up some factories and um yeah. you know um build a lot of infrastructure let's say so as they do these things they are inevitably going to uh, produce carbon dioxide or uh, and, and yeah. that is uh, inevitably going to uh, contribute to the overall climate change you know thing uh, so the fact that they can contribute to uh, the climate change um, means that they can do something to fight it so maybe they yeah so yes. so what can they do like they they should lessen the amount of carbon dioxide that they produce yes maybe mm -hmm. or they can choose not to be too extreme about like like before in like 18th 19th century i think 
the problem is like pe- people are too extreme for mm-hmm. like they 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 were they have too their desire is too big to mm-hmm. like to to make a lot of things use machine to mm. do it so their desire well the desire their desire make them to use too many machine and produce too many negative effects mm-hmm. yes so so, mm-hmm. so i think so i think if they can choose to use the machine that is not so um because now actually a lot of machine or a lot of factory they use the material they use is better to earth so ah, they can choose environmentally to, friendly uh, yes they can mm. choose to use the environmental friendly machine or the materials mm-hmm. yes yeah yeah right that's true um but the thing is environmentally friendly uh tools equipment and material are usually more costly so so underdeveloped countries uh would have a hard time you know um acquiring those you know stuff uh but but yeah your your reasoning makes sense to me so yeah right i think everybody everybody regardless of uh, the economic status of a country or a person, every single person can contribute to the climate change. And so everybody can do something about uh, the climate change, or we can do something to fight uh, the climate change. Right. Well, I think some uh, climate change um, 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 advocates or like, you know, environment advocates uh would uh Ad- advocate uh you know people who advocate uh people who um you know advocate they 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 support you know a particular um agenda so when we say cli- climate change or like uh, environment uh, advocates these are people who support the environment so uh Yes, environment uh, um, advocates would tell us to like uh, do something. Like instead of using single-use plastic material, we have we, we should use um, like reusable uh, materials, and and so on and so forth. So like uh, there are many small things that we can do um, yes. to fight uh, the climate change. Right, so the third one here um, about developed countries. So developed uh, countries are more responsible for the damage done to the climate. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, so they are more responsible. So you agree uh, to that statement. And and why do you think they are more responsible? Wait, are more responsible means that they are responsible. Well, right. Uh, they are responsible for the damage, so that means they contribute. They they, more... they contributed more. They contributed more to the damage uh, done to the climate. So, like, uh, so they are more so... responsible negatively and positively. You get the point. So negatively, they cost a lot of damage. So they can contri- they they are responsible in that sense. They are responsible negatively. They cost a lot of damage, and then they are they are now responsible positively, which means they uh they need to do more. More responsibility. Yeah, like they have um more responsibility to do something to fix the damage that they have done. Yes. So, so mm. I think I, I I don't mean I don't mean that I think developed country is more responsible. It's res it's more responsible than 
other country, I mean, developed country have more responsibility than they need to mm. be responsible for the climate, climate change. This is what I mean. Like, they need to be more responsible. Mm. Okay. Oh, this is what I agree. Like, mm. because I think, uh, because I think the thoughts of environment protect or the environmental friendly, this kind of thoughts actually came out in like the few past few, like 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. So, and although it came out, but people don't really take it seriously until this 10 years. So, so I think the, the developed country when they were developing actually they didn't really care much about the environment mm -hmm. just like they don't really care about human rights it's like about them same thing so mm -hmm. so 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 i think this is why they need to be more responsible mm -hmm. for it now the climate change has already happened so they need to try to fix it just a little bit like the enterprise need to have the society responsibility is because that mm, they already maybe success but then Successful. so they need to they, they, yeah they, mm. they already they are already successful so mm. so they need to pay like money or campaign or do some job to make the society better i think mm. it's the same kind of thoughts mm. for me like this okay. these developed countries already got a lot of benefits from right. earth from right. the country so they need to yeah, yeah. use the possible right that that totally makes sense so they have already benefited a lot uh from uh the earth uh yes. and so they they must be responsible to to do more uh for the earth uh to or to to do more to look after or to take care of, uh, you know, uh, the climate or uh, the earth. Mm. Um, I I agree that uh, developed countries uh, are more responsible both in damaging the 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 environment and and they are also more responsible. Uh, or they should be more responsible in trying to like reverse the dam the damage that they have done. Uh, and as you have pointed out, they have already benefited a lot. So they benefited a lot because they, let's say, they they damaged a lot. Like you know, they they have already, um, let's say, um, acquired a lot of. Uh, good stuff from the environment and they have not been very let's say careful as they were trying to let's say get as much as they they could from uh, from nature or from the environment um, so so yeah they are more responsible in both ways um, in the damage that they have done and also uh, the, the amount of responsibility that they need to, you know, to take, to take care of the environment. Uh, and also considering that they have more resources, they have more influence, they have more power. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so they can do more, simply, you know, uh, they can do more, so they should do more. I mean, you know, that, that's a simple logic. Um, how can we expect somebody who can only do, let's say, 1% to do 10%? Uh, that's impossible. Mm. But we can expect somebody who can do 20% to do at least 10%, right? So uh, mm. they have the power, the resources, the influence, the technology, uh, the information, the knowledge. So, yeah, they, are more, they should be more responsible. Yes. Right. Well, that should conclude our um, class for today, as uh, our time is uh, is up already. So, thank you so much, uh, Michelle. It's always uh, a great um, pleasure having this uh, class and 
you know conversation and discussion with you so have a great uh, afternoon enjoy the few more hours of your quarantine and uh, enjoy your freedom uh, from tomorrow okay thank you <laughs> all Take right care. you too you too uh, michelle thanks a lot goodbye bye -bye. take care bye, -bye.